Hello, well I just want to cover a couple of items on speed reduction, speed reducing your sewing machine for leather work. Now if you're doing ordinary upholstery sewing you certainly don't want speed reduction to any great extent. So at the moment I'm just sewing up a parasol and to be honest having a speed reduction on the unit can be a bit of a pain. But if you're doing leather work you do need it in my opinion. <laughs> uh, with leather, when you're sewing leather, you only get one chance. So if you make a mistake, you'll have all those nasty holes down your leather and they'll scream and shout out at you. Obviously, if you're fabric sewing, you can just unpick something, you can re-sew it and your mistakes don't notice. But in leather, they scream. So I've put speed reduction on all of my sewing machines and I've done it with a system of pulleys. I'll link you in the description below and at the end of this film as to how I do it. But I wanted to say something specific because the, the obvious thing about it is you slow down your machine so you get more control. But actually there's more to it than that because by using a system of pulleys you get more punching power on your machine. Probably not that essential and also your machine can only take so much punching power without going out of time or some other horrendous thing happening. But the other third point is one which probably only struck me recently and it was when I was putting speed reduction on the machine behind me. The servo motors, a lot of them, so I've got jack servo motors, have a slightly sharper start. So if you put them right down to their lowest setting you'll find that as it switches on you get a little bit of a jolt on the needle. Now the reason for that is the servo motors tend to be best when they're running faster so obviously for fabric sewing they'll be running quite quickly you know at one or two thousand rpm but for the lever work you'd probably take them down to the lowest setting which for the jack ones is 500 but as a result they don't like this initial start and you get a little bit of a, a jolt it's not much it's barely perceptible but it is nonetheless a bit obvious there if you're trying to do some very controlled stitching and even at 500 rpm that is still quite fast for certain leather sewing operations where you're trying to do curves or complicated seams and so what I've done on the machine behind me is I've put a speed reduction pulley system on it but I've actually then been able to up the speed on the servo from 500 rpm up to about a thousand but still achieved a speed reduction at the needle end of the machine because basically I've got pulleys which give me a three to one reduction so I guess whereas the machine was running at something like 500 rpm on the lowest setting it's now running at about 350 but I'm getting a far smoother start and I'm getting far more even sewing and it's just pleasanter to use. I feel it's less stress on the machine and everything else and it's really the main reason why I put a speed reduction system on the machine behind me. So just wanted to throw that up. Uh, I'll put a link as I say for a film I've done previously on fitting the speed reduction pulleys and um, want to share that with you because I think it's often a reason that people don't appreciate. If you get some very expensive servo motors they're probably better at the if you like having more of a soft start in them but I think they still are a bit prone to having this initial slight jolt it's not much but you even that out with a speed reduction and to be honest that on its own never mind the advantages of being able to go a lot slower and getting more punching power makes it in my opinion well worth having. I should just say that if you're in the US you can buy speed reduction pulley systems quite easily ready made. If you're in the UK a bit more of a problem and you may want to do similar to what I have cobble together some pulleys and what have you and knock up your own system. It's quite easy and quite cheap. Still there you are. Hope that helps. <laughs> See you in the next film and if you haven't please subscribe. Bye bye then.